Hey there, it's Enderverse. Today, I've got for you, my friend, a few mods that will enhance the fishing process in Minecraft, either by changing the fishing mechanics or adding new types of fish altogether. Stick around and watch till the end, as this video is not casual. Piscatory is a simple mod adding a new technique for catching fish in Minecraft. As you cast the fishing line on the ocean, a new animation of a fish orbiting your hook will appear. As the fish orbits your hook, it will come a moment when the fish latch onto the bite. Here you will need to hold right click until the fishing line is bright green. If you get the timing right, the fish is yours. If not, good luck next time. Localized fishing tables makes it so that the loot you receive from fishing adjusts to the biome you are in. Lily pads and slime balls are things you could find in the swamps. On the other hand, you could find bones, pickaxes and spider eyes in the caves, along with the numerous different items found in a diverse range of biomes. With real fishing, you could assemble your own custom-made fishing road. Following that, a new minigame has to be won before you get your fish, similar to the Piscatori mod. This minigame is easy, as you will need to right click only when the marker is at the yellow color. Real fishing also includes new types of marine life, and we reimagine this part of Minecraft in a great, but a subtle way. Aquaculture 2 is a popular mod adding new types of fishing roads that are material based. These fishing roads are not vanilla like, as they will require a few catgets to function properly. New types of fish are added, most of which are edible and can even be turned into a sushi. The mod is quite expensive and fictional as well, as it goes as far as adding Neptunium gear with empowered features in the water, and special perks on the land too. It is not a coincidence that this mod is the best of its kind, and it has been updated for several years now, so it's a solid option. As you go about your day fishing, you'll notice that you are no longer reeling in items, but actually living entities. That is the effect of the fishing reel mod. I got introduced to the mod a while back, and I thought it would be perfect for this video. This mod isn't about adding efficiency to fishing in Minecraft, and in fact quite the opposite, since the fish you caught could very well flood back to the water. But I do believe that this mod is gonna be a game changer for any realistic mod pack. If, however, you would like to make the fishing reel mod a little bit easier to deal with, then consider Inventory mod for such a need. The mod will switch to the sword instantly as you aim at a fish, killing it rapidly and switching back to the fishing road, all happening in a moment. Unusual fish strives to fulfill its name, as it includes a list of some of the most flamboyant and odd types of fish. The marine creatures here differentiate in size, sounds, and behaviors, and you'll also encounter them in specific types of water. The items that you can get through hunting these animals include special types of lanterns in addition to some weapons such as spears. Another mod with a fun minigame surrounding fishing is Fishing Overhaul. This one however is a bit harder and it's not guaranteed they'll always get it right, since the game is to right click the moment the red fish crosses the green bit of the circle. The difficulty of the minigame allows it to be perfect for adventurous players, those who enjoy a challenge when it arises. If you would like to catch living fish, maybe for a decoration or a farm, then tactical fishing is well suited for the mission. The mod makes it possible to easily capture fish in a package. All you've got to do is to simply hold the package in your offhand. The fish will slip right in as soon as you catch it. A recast mod will cast back the fishing line as soon as you cast something. The mod isn't for those who would like to automate their fishing per se, as it doesn't grab the fish for you, but it would be perfect for players who enjoy fishing but would prefer to streamline the casting part. Next up is Angling, which is a mod adding new types of real life fish in Minecraft. What separates this mod from the rest is the quality as it offers mobs with fluid animations, clever designs, and vivid colors. The mod will also include creatures that have to do with the beach, those being the crabs and the pelicans, which I love. 
been open 19 months, I don't think it would be much serviceable to you guys. But if it ever gets updated, I'll let you know. Fish on the line releases a ringing sound whenever a fish is hooked. This mod won't be of much value to advanced users, but I would definitely recommend it for beginners, as it will save you a lot of time and, you know, a lot of fish too. GoFish adds some unique variants for the fishing road, but more importantly, allows you to fish in the nether. This is pretty much the only mod that I could name with such a feature, and will prove useful as you get stranded here. Apart from the said nether fishing, this mod adds a lot more stuff including blocks, items and some fishing gadgets too. Let fish love isn't specified in fishing, but in the fish itself. With some seeds and fruits you can lure and breed all kinds of fish in Minecraft. With the previously mentioned tactical fishing mod, you can hunt living fish and breed it with other fish to produce, well, more fish. Jellyfishing in combination with the more jellyfish add-on creates the fictional jelly fields from Spongebob. The mod introduces a different type of fishing, but I'm a big fan of the idea, along with the textures and models of pretty much everything in here. You're obviously not gonna pick this mod for a serious RPG or an even vanilla plus style of playing, but breaking the ice from time to time is harmless and even encouraged. Fishing Paradise includes four new types of fishing roads, bamboo, metal, netherite and wooden fishing roads. New types of fish are also present including tuna, herring, shrimp and a few more to name. Villager workers add some new kinds of villagers you could employ. For the sake of the video, we will focus solely on the fishermen. Through hiring one of these fishermen, you could command the said worker to begin fishing. He will then locate the nearest body of water and start the work for you. After a few minutes, the fisherman has already cut two codes. You could hire more than one worker, even four if you are rich enough. These fishermen will follow you anywhere and can also ride a brother's ship from the small ship's mod. These workers are quite useful and can also go on a fishing trip to accumulate as much fish as possible for you. So they are worth every emerald if you had asked me. If you found yourself in the middle of the ocean and the thunderstorm began, you better look beneath you. Dark Waters mod adds some hellish creatures that only appear during thunderstorms in the ocean. These monsters are too strong as they can one shoot you or even pull you out of your boat. The next time you are fishing and it starts raining, you know what to do. Fisherman's Trap adds a device that will help you get fish passively. All you need to do is place the trap, put the bait and leave. After a while, the trap would have caught a small amount of fish for you. You could get different types of loot based on the bait and if you have a high enough number of traps, the return can be big. Upgrade Aquatic adds some freshwater creatures, few are passive, while others will prey on smaller fish like the salmon. Gorgeous variants of the coral reefs are discoverable, offering special textures and a multitude of new colors. This place is also home for the lionfish, an aggressive but not a deadly creature. As you swim deeper in the ocean, it's likely that you'll meet the thrasher, a shark-like creature, but it's blind and can only detect movement through sonar waves. If caught by the thrasher, quick action is required as he will maul you to death if you don't hit him with your sword. A bigger disaster is the great thrasher. Here, if you get caught, you are dead, no matter what's your equipment, so I would recommend escaping as soon as possible if you saw one. This mod is quite large and offers different types of new items, opening the door for new crafting recipes and assistant building blocks too. Thanks for watching, I hope this new idea has helped you and I have hundreds more I'll be trying. So subscribe and hit the bell as to not miss any future videos. See ya in the next one my friend.